On Instagram, she is known as Loco Kitchen for her dazzling pie and tart designs, as well as her perfectly punny captions. In real life, she is Lauren Co, the woman behind that account, and she's out with her first cookbook, Pyometry. I got a chance to talk to her about her latest designs. I have pies and tarts in my Instagram feed inspired by patio furniture, storm drains, bathroom tile, bamboo purses. <laughs> so I kind of draw inspiration from everywhere and everything. That's amazing. And we can see a lot of that in your new cookbook, Pyometry. Congratulations on that, by the way. That's Thank pretty cool. You. So now, does that mean that we all get to kind of tap into the knowledge that you've accumulated and we'll be able to make these beautiful designs ourselves? Yes, exactly. I'm so excited to kind of share and reveal all these secrets. I haven't really shared any recipes or techniques um, online thus far. So um, with this book, we're making these designs super accessible to everyone. We say that the book is written for professional chefs, home cooks, armchair bakers and eaters alike. So there's a slice for everyone. Well, I know you're gonna make something for us today. So why don't we let you get to work while we talk, okay? What, what are you making today? Today we are doing a hand sliced wavy pear tart, which is perfect for fall because pears are coming into season right now. Do all of your pies taste as good as they look? I like to think so. So one of the ironies of this journey is that I don't really have a sweet tooth, so I don't eat obviously all the pies that I make and I end up sharing them with friends, family, and neighbors. Well, lucky um, for that. And so far, no complaints. So <laughs> That's great. So the designs look, they tend to look really complicated. And I know some of them do take you hours and hours to put together, right? Yeah, sometimes they do take a little bit of time. It's just part of the process of pie making because you want to keep the dough cold. Um, there's some like resting time and chilling time, but I think even the designs that are a little more time intensive, they're not necessarily technique intensive. So as long as you have a little bit of patience and you're committed to creating something beautiful, I think that pie art can be really accessible to everyone. Um, if you're just starting out and just practicing, uh, as long as it tastes good, then you've succeeded. I uh, don't trust myself with a sharp knife like that. Um, are you slicing those pretty thin? Yeah, they're about, I would say, a millimeter thick. So you don't want it to be so thin that it's translucent, but you want it to be um, thin enough to kind of maintain a little bit of flexibility. So oh, nice. I have a couple different colored pairs with me, and I'm just cutting them off the side, avoiding the core, uh, slicing them up and then lining up some of these slices in a row and then I'm just going to pop them right on the surface of the tart in this kind of wavy pattern and maybe I'll grab a green one as well for some color variation. Okay. What's the inspiration for this design? Um, I believe I was inspired by the ocean and the movement of waves. I'm originally from San Diego so um, Always trying to, again, taking inspiration from, you know, the environment around me and also, you know, lived experiences. So this one in particular tries to capture kind of the movement of water and nature um, recreated through fruit. Do people sometimes have trouble actually eating the finished product because that first slice must be must be almost painful. In a way, it's, I've heard people say it's almost too pretty to eat, but. I mean, for someone, for a baker and an artist, I feel like it's the highest compliment. Do you have a favorite medium uh, to work with in making your designs? I know you work with fruit, you work with the, the dough itself sometimes. Um, is there anything that, that you really find the most pleasure working with? Um, yeah, I kind of do a lot of different things, but I think these sort of fruit tarts with the, the fruit is fresh and the design kind of takes advantage of texture and color. Um, that's what I really love. Yeah, and it's three-dimensional too, which is exactly kind of neat. Lots of texture, lots of flavor, lots of color, trying to incorporate all of those different elements into a design. Uh, I think color is kind of key, at least when people are looking at your photos online, on social media. Uh, they're just blown away sometimes by the design and the color. Is there any food that works best um, in terms of you know, creating that splash, that color. A lot of different fruits work for a lot of different purposes, so I encourage people to kind of 
take a look at what's in season and what's available. I like to remind people I'm just a regular person, regular home baker shopping at my neighborhood grocery store. So sometimes my inspiration is design focused and sometimes it's produce based. So uh -huh. um, things like apples and pears and, you know, persimmons are really great right now in the fall, perhaps in the summer, really colorful berries and lots of stone fruit are a good option. The best thing about shopping for produce in season is that that's also when it tastes the best. Oh, so yes. you get the best of both worlds. You get that kind of aesthetic beauty as well as flavor. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to be with you for the entire creation of this, but I can yes. definitely see it coming together. And now I'm inspired. And if I wanna do this myself or something similar, I can pick up a book, Pyometry now. Yes. And I can, I could give it maybe to a friend or a family member as well. We've got the holiday season coming up. Exactly. And there are a lot of people stuck in their homes right now who need something to do. And yep. I would say this is the perfect thing to do. You've inspired me so much now. I'm going so to have to And peak pie season is upon us as well. So Hey, every season's pie season. Let's be honest. <laughs> true, true. Can't wait to make a pie for myself. And I know it's going to look just as good as all of Lauren's pies. Did I mention she's from West Seattle? So you might run into her in the grocery store. Okay, what are your feelings about TikTok? Later in the show, Angela and I will be discussing with more hot topics with Team Evening. We'll be right back. <laughs> 